Mog. Oh, she's been sighted on the low seas, Koopo. Who has? The great sea demon, Leviathan, Koopo. Huh? <laughs> Let her come. I was hoping that beast would return within my lifetime. Sildra! Today we avenge them. Your family and my great-grandfather. Our long wait is finally over. Are you ready? <laughs> right! Head for the low seas! Tell me in two, Koopa! Jib. That was nothing. Lawn and rain. I don't know how you did it. Now, tell me where that demon was spotted. In the waters of Babel. Not far from the Rainbow Shore, Koopo. Leviathan! Here I am! Show yourself! Come out and fight! If you have the courage! What's all this noise? Who might you be? Oh. So she killed your ancestors. Now? You seek revenge? Aye. She must pay. For my great-grandfather and Sildra's kin. Hmm. As you wish. I'll call her for you. Why must you always raise such a clamor like that? My ears work fine. Little Adamantus. Can't you see? I'm trying to enjoy myself. I have missed these seas. Your reason for disturbing me had best be good. We're the ones who are disturbing you, Leviathan! Well now, what is this tiny creature? I'll show you, Tiny! You killed my great-grandfather Tycoon. He died with all of Sildra's clan. But on this day, we will have our vengeance! And I'm here to help, Koopo! Tycoon and... Sildra, did you say? Oh! Astonishing! So their bloodline survived! Hm? But... Hold. You say you seek vengeance upon me? That's right! Don't you dare feign ignorance! My great-grandfather was brave. When you attacked Sildra's family, he fought to save them. And died. But we swore that one day, we would have our vengeance! For generations we've waited! It's my good fortune that you appeared in my lifetime. Because now, I can be the one to settle the score! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Foolish girl. Am I to believe a whelp like you has any chance of defeating me? Not a chance. Not in a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> What now? Where am I? What is this? It's a fantasy. Where dreams and reality and time all touch. But don't ask me to explain what that means exactly. I guess you might say, when somebody fights our friends, we tag in. You get it? But how can... Oh... You two. How many long years have passed? Can't tell you that, but... Did we really used to know each other? Forget all that. Ferris thinks you killed her great-grandpa and Sildra's family. Is that really true? Well, honestly, I'm not altogether certain myself. As I recall, when Tycoon's crew was attacked by Bismarck's forces, on a whim, I may have helped them to defend themselves. Once I left, any number of villains could have done them in. But that's no concern of mine. 
Then you mean... Ferris and Soldra are mistaken? So why not just tell them as much? If their hatred for me has been festering all this time, then I cannot calm the waves by telling them it was all a big misunderstanding. As such, the wisest course of action is to accept their challenge, to let them break themselves against me. The way you're making it sound, you know they're fighting over nothing, but you still won't let them win? Really? Why would I let them win? I am not beholden to them. They chose this. Then I've got bad news. To fight them, you have to go through us. Well, that can be easily arranged. The wrath of the sea. Tidal wave!
Victory is yours. We did it, Koopa! Oi, Adamantus. Can I ask you something? Hmm? A century ago, they tell of a sea demon. But was it really Leviathan? Tell me, why do you ask? Oh. Well, I might be imagining it. But she didn't seem like such an evil character. <laughs> Don't be silly. She was, without a doubt, the worst of the Dyad's servants. But no more. You have succeeded at avenging your kin. Oh, good then. Captain, we did it, Koopa! Aye, and you were a big help. All right. Gents, let's go home. <laughs> to think you were once feared as one of the great terrors of the seas. When did you become such a big softy? Quiet, you. There will be trouble if they learn I still live. Now hush, until they're gone. <laughs> 